We want to show you some unique smartphones that you probably haven't seen before. Each of these phones has a unique design and cutting edge technology. So let's discover the most unusual and exclusive phones in the world. Let's get it on. The Drass Phone. This is probably the most unusual smartphone in the whole world. The thing is, you can pile it up like a bunch of domino tiles. Moreover, the phone has a modern touchscreen which can be bent 180 degrees in three different points. Can you imagine? This innovative design makes the phone more compact. But seriously, what can be better than folding your phone one or even two times? And even when folded, the screen is fully functional and shows your notifications and any important information using all kinds of widgets. At first sight, it might look like a pretty weird phone, but we're sure that people are going to love it. Lenovo C+. When unfolded, this smartphone looks like a remote control with a huge screen. Nevertheless, these dents on the top and the bottom of the phone are a little bit unusual. But this phone, wait for it, it bends. Oh. Believe it or not, the C Plus can be used around the wrist. But don't get overexcited. When the phone was shown to the press in a closed event in San Francisco, the representatives of Lenovo recognized that the screen can still crack like shattered glass when rolling it. The electronic insides of the C Plus are divided into different segments, and so the phone can be used as a smartwatch. And the interface changes according to the way you want to use it. Triple Display Flip Believe it or not, this unusual thingy works along with the Windows Phone 7. The folding design of this device guarantees the protection of the phone, because the screen is usually closed up by the top and bottom flips. A little bit of screen remains uncovered between the flips in order to show you the most important information, like the name of the people calling you, the hour and the date. The device opens fast and easily. Press the two clicks in the left and right side of the frame. Moreover, the triple flip can fold out to all its length. Like every other phone, this one has a virtual keyboard. But for those who love retro phones, the device has a QWERTY keyboard on one of the sides. This smartphone is also great for movie lovers. The telephone bends 270 degrees, and the screen can be turned up in order to give you the best angle to watch your favorite films. You can also connect it to an HD panel, a monitor, or a TV. NEC Flip Phone How many screens does a modern mobile phone need? One, like most smartphones nowadays? Maybe two? No, we believe three is the magic number. Even among modern telephones, you can find a multi-headed Cerberus. But instead of three heads, this gadget has three screens. And having three displays running on Android is just the perfect solution for multitasking. It's the coolest. You might think this is unreal, but the three screens in the mobile phone can be used with different apps and run in different modes. One app for each screen or one app in all the three screens, you can do as you like. The three screens are especially useful to work with different files all at the same time, and the keyboard on the back of one of the screens is just what you need to work even better with your flip phone. Moreover, with three screens, you can use one to place your phone on the table and watch your photos, videos, or to use it as an alarm clock. A Rubik's Portal the heart of this telephone is a multi-core processor. It has 2GB of RAM and a 64GB flash memory. But the main feature is that the telephone has four cameras, and some of them can be controlled with gestures. Bad baby, bad baby. Other features of the Arubics portal are stereophonic speakers, wireless charging, GSM and LTE support, a barometer, an electronic compass, a GPS navigational system, a chip for wireless payments, a movement sensor, and the possibility to immerse the phone underwater up to 32 feet. It seems like this phone has everything you may think of, but the more, the better. The screen is protected against scratches, 
and the frame is made of resistant materials like Kevlar and polyurethane. And as a working platform, this phone will use a modified version of Android. Google Project Aura We believe that a revolutionary era in terms of smartphones is soon to come. Just look at this smartphone. Unusual, right? Unfortunately, Project Aura is not on the market, but the writers of a famous internet portal got one of these in their hands. It goes by the codename A8A01, and it's probably just an earlier version for the developers. In this model, the different parts of the phone are connected with magnets. In the past, Google declared that the magnets are not enough to keep the different modules together, so it was decided to create these electromagnets that stick out from the corpus and leave the blocks safely together. But this smartphone is not compact. It's 12.5 millimeters thick without a camera module, which is not the best for a modern phone. Probably that's one of the reasons why Google decided to close the project. NEC Medias W when closed, this smartphone is not different from a usual PDA, only maybe a little thicker than normal, 13 millimeters. But if you open it, you'll be amazed by its two 4.3 inch LCD screens. This huge display can be used to work on one app in full mode or in two different apps at the same time. If you're watching a video, for example, you can enjoy it on both screens. Just put the Medias W on a table like a card house and two people can enjoy the same video at the same time. Cool, right? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. But this model has a couple of problems. The battery capacity is not the best and one charge will not be enough for a full day of work. And it's also very fragile. When closed, the screens aren't protected and you might end up breaking your gadget. Oh, no. Nokia 888. This phone is an example of flexibility. The idea is that the innovative screen and the soft frame will allow you to bend the phone in any way you want, around your arm, folded, bent inwards and outwards and so on. The phone is supposed to be five millimeters thick. And apart from that, this device will have a built-in system of cables that will allow it to move or bend if you get a message or a call. Phones have come to life. What a wonder. Liquid batteries might be used for energy supply as well. The Nokia 888 might be easily the phone of the future, so we hope to see it soon on the market because it looks great. ZTE Eco Mobius. Do you think a DIY telephone is possible? Believe it or not, it's already here. Now you can assemble your own phone or renovate it with new pieces. The smartphone has four modules, a screen, a processor, an accumulator, and a camera. The main module, weirdly enough, is the screen. The other modules stick to the display with magnets. And on top of that, you can protect the construction with a cover. You can easily change the camera, the battery, the screen, and the main modules, including the processor, the RAM, the flash memory, and the video processor. Moreover, the Ecomobius has a cool industrial design. All the components are installed in a transparent plastic frame that lets you see the inside of this transformer.